Welcome to evening prayer. Continuing on with John chapter 20 and now at verse 24. But Thomas, who was called the twin and one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Thomas often gets bad press and we kind of give him a negative title as we call him Doubting Thomas. And yet there's a real humanness to him. That desire to meet with Jesus for himself and find ways of convincing himself that Jesus is risen from the dead. In some ways, Thomas reassures us that it's okay to have doubts and questions, even though it appears that Jesus rebukes him when he um, talks about Thomas believing because he's seen and others who have not seen being blessed as they come to believe. Thomas, in some ways, gives us permission to be human. Yes, we come and we trust and believe in one that we have not seen in a physical sense. But perhaps we also need to remember that Thomas has seen some pretty devastating sights in the past few days. And in order to believe, he needs some kind of reassurance from Jesus. And that reassurance is always there. Nobody's told him what Thomas needs. And yet he reaches out and says to Thomas, see my hands, touch my side. In other words, know that it is me. And day by day, Jesus stands beside us, in front of us and says, it's me. Put your trust in me. Simply. Believe. For some, there is a constant search for proof. And for others, a simplicity in faith. Thomas perhaps stands somewhere between the two. So maybe we look to him in ways that are less negative and more human, more understanding as we look to him and realise that in him also often is some of us and it's okay to question and it's okay to doubt for Jesus himself will reassure and stand before us. So let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for Thomas and for his humanity, for his questioning, for his reassurance as he meets with you, the risen Lord, and sees and feels for himself that you are there. And so this evening we pray for those who are struggling 
with questions and doubt. Those who worry about whether you are real or whether you're really with them in the struggles. We pray that as you stood before Thomas and the disciples and offered your peace, you will again shower down your peace on each one who needs to know it at this time. And so we pray for those whom we love and journey with, for friends, for family, but in particular those who are dealing with illness of body, mind or spirit, those struggling as they wait for diagnosis and wait for treatment. May each one be reassured by your presence, by your touch, by your peace breathed onto and into them. We pray for your church, celebrating resurrection, seeking signs of new life all around, going through big times of change. As you breathe into your people, your peace, we pray also for your continued guidance and in the questions and the doubts, may the eyes of all of your people be firmly fixed on you as we tread into the future. And we offer you ourselves in all that we are and all that we bring to you this evening, asking that we may know your presence your holding and your grace. So we share in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.